Benjamin out. Darren Elias with a 9-4 of hearts. He almost looks like a scientist when he's going to make a decision. Really deep thought. Very stoic. Yeah. Darren has done a lot of limping in his small blind, and he's going to continue that with the 9-4 suited. Matt's going to check with the 7-deuce offsuit. Sorry, I'll push that for you. All right, we'll see what happens. Here come the first three. Interesting flop for Junky Hands. Six, four, three. They go check, check, a five. Man, and it stays interesting. Matt picks up a straight. Darren now with third pair and a flush draw, checking once more over to Matt. 25,000. Why not? Darren's going to play. Hoping to hit a flush. There it is. Wow. Four-time champion. That's what happens. <laughs> and he's going to check it. Yep, nice check. Oh, boy. And Matt, of course, has to bet his straight. He even has a blocker to a flush here. That's a 60,000 bet. Darren now unloading the check raise, going up to 210,000. This is a tough spot for Matt. Not only do you have a seven, but you do have a blocker to hearts. Although it's not a particularly relevant one. It's 150 more. The clock is ticking down. Matt has made some very disciplined folds, but he's also made some very sticky calls. He's going to use a time bank chip to buy himself another 30 seconds with the action clock. I almost checked back. <laughs> then I thought... I'm happy that Matt did not check back because that would have been absurd. Mm. He would have been right, but it would have been absurd. Call. Push. And he's going to make this call. Gross feeling. <laughs> Play online poker for over a hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes every month at clubwpt.com. Sign up today for free using bonus code YT44 and get a free entry into a five thousand dollar guaranteed tournament. Two eighty. Two eighty. Makes it two hundred eighty thousand to go. And look at this. Whoa. Rothram has picked up two queens on deal number one. He's got the real hand. The ladies raise. just can't beat that. Raise. He will raise, of course. And he puts his hand on his chin like he didn't know what to do. Obviously, he knows what to do. It's to raise here in this spot. 770,000. Well, Jonathan's not going anywhere. The 27 year old making this call. And a king right on the flop. It's come king, six, five, three hearts. Jonathan hitting kings, even though he got outdrawn. Rotherham also has a flush draw now with his two queens, but he checks. But Jonathan with the best hand with two kings. 430. 430,000 to bet. Rotherham checked that flop fence. I don't know how you check that flop with two queens and a flush draw. Okay, and Rotherham will call this. Going to the turn. It's another king. So now Jonathan, three of a kind. Check. Again, Rotherham checks the queens. 860. 860. 860,000 now to bet. Yeah, just building a pot. Uh, I don't know how you get away from queens here. And he's not. He's making the call. Now you got to call that one, that's for sure. Here we go to the river. Will it be a heart? No, it's an ace of spades. Well, again, Rotherham checks. 1.2. And Jonathan gonna plunge away once again with a bet, 1.2 million. Well, now you're fearful your opponent was betting the ace of hearts, and now he's made two aces to beat your queens. If in case he doesn't have a king in his hand. That is true, but there's a lot of money in that pot. A flying saucer can sense it. Thinking this through, this would be a nice getaway. And yes, he's going to do the right thing, folds the hand. So Jonathan Jaffe increases his chip lead 
Taking down a nice spot there. Show one. Show one. They're both good. They're both good. All right, I believe you. I made a big fold. Jonathan being pretty honest. One was very good. The other, not so good. We move on. Jonathan from Vermont. 280. Makes it 280 to go with just a jack six. Flying saucer looks at a queen five of clubs. Yep, he's going to make the call here. And we will see a flop of the heads up battle. Here it comes. It's a 10 5 deuce. Check. 240. 240. A continuation bet by Jonathan. A quick 240. Flying saucer getting a piece of that with the fives. He's going to make the call. And the turn card is a queen. That's beautiful for Roth hitting two pair now. And again, he's going to check to the aggressive Jonathan. And Jonathan with no hand, no draw. Drawing completely dead here. Five. Bets 500,000. 500, yep, he is plunging away. Flying saucer trying to act oh. as if he's in a quandary. Of course he's not. He just calls. Has his opponent drawn completely dead. Now seven of clubs comes off. Check. Now, again, Rotherham checks to the aggressive Jonathan Jaffe. Jonathan knows to win the pot. 1.1. He's going to have to Whoa. bet at it, so he's going to take a stab at it. 1.1 million. All in. But Rathram is now going to raise him all in with Queens up here. Fold. Fold. And that is going to do it for this hand. So the slow play by Rathram on the turn pays off for another 1.1 million for him on the river. And the flying saucer looking good, hovering above. And right now it's on Matt Waxman. Quick fold by him. Nick Schulman folding ace five. Modest out, and now finally the Frenchman pick it up. The big hand, pair of kings. Well, we talked about limping in the small blind with your strong hands to protect your weak ones, and David shares that philosophy. Well, he wants the chip leader to come over the top, but that's not going to happen. Darren, with just a jack deuce, not going to fall into any traps. Wants to see a flop. Here we go. And the flop is a massive jack deuce five here. Darren Elias flopping two pair. Disaster for David Benjamin, who was hoping to be able to play a big pot post-flop with his kings. If that were to happen now, he would lose a big pot. Oh boy. So Darren has bet just a measly 15, getting called. And now it only gets better for Darren Elias. That jack should prevent David from getting stacked before, I think if the turn was a brick, he would have looked to get a lot of money in. Now, he's just going to be calling down. 35,000 has been bet. Elias with his full house already. Benjamin's got to make that call. Going to the river. Has to hit a king here. Not to be. Four clubs on the river. That four is an interesting card because if Darren was semi-bluffing with a hand like 4-3 or 6-4, he's now made a pair that he can check and just try and show down with. The fact that he's betting again and betting so big means his range has become polarized between strong hands like straights and trip jacks and weak hands like spades that are just bluffing. David here with a really tough decision. Yeah, the bet is 125 by Darren Elias. Very tough to get away from this hand. Clock is ticking down to five seconds and he's taking more time. Well, if you're in Benjamin's shoes and you get to the river like this, what hands are you calling with that are better than pocket kings? Like if you're gonna fold kings, What's a better hand than kings that you get there like this and you call with? I'm having trouble finding one. It's gonna take more time, but it's very tough to lay down this hand. I 
I think 90% of the players would make this call at this point, but he's going to make the good lay down. Wow. Look at that. He laid down the Kings. Darren Elias picking that one up. What action we're seeing here tonight? 